morning everyone we're out here on a grouse hunt it's probably about 10 in the morning and it's super chilly i think it's probably a little bit below freezing and we just came upon someone else that is also hunting grouse we just saw a hawk fly up and it's got a dead grouse right here let's go check it out so we were just coming up this trail and ariel saw something fly up and she said it didn't really look like a grouse maybe like a duck she said it was gray and we just came up to this and it's a half-eaten grouse looks like the hawk Maybe just got to it. Uh, the head's gone, so it ate the head and it started working on the breast. So I guess that's a good sign that the grouse are out here. We're gonna just leave this here and we're gonna continue up the trail and see if we get anything. All right, well, it seems like the wild animals are beating us to it this morning. We just came upon another grouse kill. There's a bunch of feathers here. And then the main one that's right here and some of the guts are still in there. But I guess that's a pretty good sign. At least we know there's some out here, so we're gonna keep on going down the trail. Usually when we find these birds, they're pretty much just in the trail. I think they eat the grit and stuff, and we know that they eat the spruce tips. So usually that's when we have the best luck looking for these guys is just driving down the trail. Go down. They scared it up when they ran by and they didn't realize it. All right, we got one. The dogs were running down the trail and they scared it up, but they didn't see it. And I saw it go in that tree. So, got a nice one. Is that, is that a male with the red in the eye? It's a male, you got a nice male. Yeah, it's a nice, he's heavy. Good it's job, probably. pup, good job. Hey, don't eat it. You can lick it. Good boy. You were a little high on the on the um, right back. So we came across a tree in the trail. Looks like a beetle kill that just fell across the trail. And we don't have an ax or anything, so we're gonna try to hook the winch on it and hopefully pull it off the side enough that we can get by. Well, we've been out here for a couple hours now and we ended up with just the one grouse. We got that one, uh, we're gonna eat them. And we shot at one more, or I shot at it and I missed and it flew away a little too far that we couldn't go get it. So we got one grouse today, but that's better than none. We're gonna get the dogs unloaded and we're gonna start a little campfire and we're gonna have a oriental grouse salad. Go get them! Go get them! Bo, come on. Bo, come on.
Is it okay to start the fire there? Yeah. yeah. Let's see if it's about to me. Oh yeah, it's going on in there. Got the fire going. We're gonna get this grouse cleaned. Pretty simple to do. You wanna step on their wings real close to the body. Grab kind of up as high as you can on their legs or their thighs, and you're gonna pull up slowly. Basically what we have here is the head which pulled through the body and some of the guts that we're not going to be eating. And then we've got the legs. And then here we have the breast, which we are going to be eating. And then we're going to kind of go through some of this and the dogs are going to get a little meal today. So that's the breast meat. And that's what we're after right there. So like Eric said, this is a spruce grouse, it's a male, and it's a little bit bigger than the females. We've got the gizzard, the liver, and the heart. We're going to give those to the dogs. Those get in the gizzard. Gentle. That wasn't gentle. The heart went there for you. The rest of the bird I'm just going to break up. We've got two legs, I've got the head, and we have... The top portion too that we're gonna split up for the dogs. It's the gallbladder. Who wants the kidneys? Okay, Ben is gonna get the head. I'm just gonna gift him all of that. <laughs> oh, you get this. So same thing as last year when we were out here, the spruce needles is what they've been eating. The, the healthy trees, there's a lot of the beetle kale, but they're eating the healthy trees that have their needles left. It's time to start cooking. We are gonna get the skillet on the fire, get it heated up, and I'm gonna cook these grass breasts in a little bit of olive oil. We're gonna put salt and pepper on them, and when they're almost done, I'm gonna put a little bit of soy sauce on them. There we go. We're about to add our soy sauce to the grouse because it's almost done and we're also going to add some chopped almonds in there real quick and just toast these up. Let's start making our salad. We're doing cabbage, green onion, carrot, and some parsley. For the dressing, we are going to do olive oil, mayonnaise, mustard, rice wine vinegar, soy sauce, and salt and pepper. And to finish it off, we are going to do a little bit of honey.
Awesome. We're going to plate this up and we're going to eat. We're going to do the coleslaw or the salad on the bottom. And then we're going to do the grouse meat with some of those toasted almonds on top. Dig in. Did you not eat yet? No. I'm going to try the whole shebang. really good. I mean like really fucking good. Delicious. I really like the saltiness and the um the green onion. I really like the green onion mm -hmm. and the cabbage. It's really nice. This turned out totally awesome. Um yeah. Pretty excited and hungry for this. Oh. But I had a feeling it would turn out good, but it, it really tastes really good. Yeah, it turned out awesome. And grouse, if you've never had it mm -hmm. before, it's kind of like dark meat chicken or like dove meat, if you've ever had dove. Really good. Doesn't need much to make it taste good. Oh, it's just darker. But it's lean. Mm. No oil, no fat. That's so good. Yeah. So usually when we go out for grouse, we try to get at least two because you don't get a lot of meat off them, but adding it to this salad was a great way to just use one grouse. It was perfect. It was a really good salad. Eric did a wonderful job cooking the grouse. We're gonna have our second bowl and then we're gonna head home.